Let's get straight to these settings, bro. Alright, so to start off, usually I like to go to the game settings first. Alright, now just some of these are to remove visual clutter. Um, and mainly your game settings. Your control settings, that's when you get your sensitivity, you know, making the game feel good for you. You know, want to up your accuracy. All that good stuff, right? But when it comes to game settings, mainly remove visual clutter, right? So you want to play compact. This makes it where the guns don't have like a huge screen like this, you know, to pick up. Like you see how this takes up so much of my screen. You don't know what's going on behind it, to be honest. So, you know, compact, it just says the name, makes it a little smaller. Um, button hints, you can have that on or off. That's just, I keep my on for no reason, to be honest. But it just it tells you, you know, press L, B, R, B, use this, that, and other, right? Crosshair damage feedback. I don't like playing with the crosshair. I know some people like to play with just the X. But I'd rather have it off just so everything stays clean. Stacking. So the difference between stacking and floating. Uh, stacking, it just adds the damage for you. Right? But like floating, you don't want floating at all. So you either want to do stacking or you want to do both. But I, I'd rather stack it. Because that, that could throw you off a little bit. You know what I mean? So this stacking is good enough. Just so you get like a nice little total of what the amount of damage you did. Ping capacity, fade it uh obituaries get that on you want to see you no know, kills and deaths all that good stuff mini representation this is actually preference there's no wrong way it's just how, however you want to see the map i would like i'd rather the map stay straight the entire time so i keep it all on on um auto cycle and empty keep it all on i'll uh, always sprint definitely definitely a huge one bro being controller players bro we we run around this map a lot. They run around Apex a lot. I feel like that's the most used thing in Apex, bro, is the sprint button. So, Kevin will always sprint. Make sure you not have to click it in. Click in the left stick. So, definitely keep that on. Auto run off. You don't need that. that is, that's just unnecessary. Jetpack control. Definitely on hold. It feels way better when you're playing Valk. Um, that control is literally only for Valk. And it's just simple as when you release the A button or you release your X, whatever, you, you know, PS5 or Xbox controller you're using. It lets go of the jetpack, but when you hold it down, you know, it keeps it engaged and you keep flying up. Definitely better. Now, income and damage, I'd rather it be on, you either want 2D or 3D. I know 3D sometimes gets like, it makes like huge triangles that could honestly take up your screen. So I'd rather just have 2D. Uh, it still gives you the information you need to know what direction you're getting hit from. Take damage, closes death box or craft them you. Definitely do not have this on. Just because, let's say, if you're about to get a shield swap and somebody hits you with one bullet and it closes the death box and then mess up your shield swap. So definitely keep that off. All screen portraits. Um, I keep it on. I, I don't really care about this. Hop up, pop up. Keep it on just so you can know when you have your hop ups on and all that good stuff. Uh, streamer mode off. Anonymous mode. I keep it on uh, just for like when I'm streaming stuff like that. But you can keep these disabled. These don't really matter as much. Once you get down here, it don't really matter. Uh, other than reticle, laser sight. Now you can usually, I think the best type of uh, reticles you can do is like a violet. Uh, just cause not many things on the map are violet. So it doesn't really blend in too hard with, you know, different, different maps. Uh, definitely don't go like to like a hard, like a, a white or like a black or something like that. Or even like a, a bright green can help, but just make sure you're green. Is, is bright enough where you can see it through grass. Like I know Olympus has you know, a lot of grass on it, storm point. So I'll probably stay more in like the teal side at that point, bro. But yeah, I honestly, I'll use default. I'm so used to playing other shooters as well that the reticle is just red, you know? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the gameplay settings. Now let's get straight to controller settings. All right, button layout. I keep mine on default. I, I don't really do anything customized, but this is preference. Anything that feels good for you, that's what you want to play on for 100%. All right, then stick layout, default for sure. I use tap to use and reload just because it's sort of like, uh, if you guys ever played Warzone, it's like the contextual tap setting. Hold to use can end up starting, like when you're playing a knockdown shield, like behind your teammate, and you try to reload, it makes you start reviving, and it's just, don't do these. It's end the hold to reload, same thing. You, it just adds so many unnecessary, unfortunate situations to the game. But I will say, if you're ever playing against a door and you feel like you can't reload, you want to shoot out the clip. Shoot out the rest of the clip and then reload. You know, let, let the game reload for you. Don't just press X or uh, square, or whatever it may be for you. Uh, just because you'll open the door. You know what I mean? Crouch button. This is another one that's pretty preference. I like to play mine on hold because I play claw. So 
being able to crouch spam is a lot easier since I could, you know, move up my sticks and press the button at the same time. So it goes a long way in that regard. Aim button, keep it on hold. That's just a normal thing. Revival slide, uh, I have it on. Just so I can, you know, in case I need to pull out one of the survival items or whatever. You feel me? Adaptive triggers. This is something that only has to do with my DualSense Edge. Um, it adds, like, vibration. I keep it off. Or, yeah, it, it's some trigger effect function. I just don't use it. Trigger dead zones. I would say for Xbox controllers, you probably want to have this on none. But for PS5 controllers, because they're, they're a little bit more sensitive, uh, I will put it on default. Menu cursor speed. There's nothing that's preference. But honestly, if yours is very low, you want to constantly up yours over time just so you know you be able to loot faster and you don't get caught standing still in the box, right? So the faster you get, the, the faster your shows also be. You feel me? So, yeah. Then let's get to look sensitivity. 4-3, always going to be meta, bro. I'm going to be real. It's, it's going to st stay meta for a long time. Um, AOCs actually remove a lot of aim assist, but AOCs also do bleed through. So the cool thing about ALCs is if you guys actually want to increase your aim assist a little bit, um, up your response curve always 30. I promise you guys it's not placebo, but it changed the, the aim assist window that you have in the game. Even after you put it back to off, your aim assist window will still change for the regular look sensitivity. So my 4.3 will have a bigger aim assist window, which could feel a little odd. If you want it smaller, put it back towards default. All right. Um, but other than that. I like to keep mine out there just just to, to feel that that huge that heavy drag it's kind of dope sometimes and another little cool thing about the alc settings is that the pro optics also bleed through so if you go into pro optics right you put this on on and then you put this on off because your pro optics is on on it will actually still increase that so i'll just show you the difference right so this is three or this is actually not three because i have my pro optics bleeding too i'm gonna show you the difference all right i'm put that on off let me make sure i actually turn the other one off as well all right, now we're just going through the natural profit settings and I'm gonna put like a two X on. All right, so natural three, three sensitivity. You know what I mean? Nothing different, right? Now we go to this, we turn it on in, in the settings. Uh Oh, that's not, there we go. I don't know why I was showing up when I press on just now. Maybe I was moving too fast. And let's say just, just for the sake of the video, just to show you guys it works, right? I put the two X to five It's going to double or it's going five times whatever my 2x is on. So <laughs> it's more than 15 sensitivity or <laughs> whatever. It's maxed out. So you got to see how much faster this is, right? So, yeah, if you want to have like a little bit more custom sense, I advise you to just use the per optic thing instead of using um, actual ALCs. Okay, so 4 3, definitely the meta still. 3, just very easy to control. Now, when we get to response curve, I would say either stick between linear or classic. Don't really play anything else. Linear, if you're more on the, um, if you're more used to the controller's feel and you're fine with it being way more sensitive, then definitely linear because it has a raw, it's like raw input. You feel like everything is one to one. You're not feel like you're pushing too hard to move to one side. Everything that you, every single small increment that you touch the controller is going to show up to directly like reflect that. So. I like I love linear. It feels way more reactive, especially because you're on four three. You feel a little bit faster, which is good. And uh, recoil is way easier to control on linear because since it's more sensitive, you pull like when you pull down a little bit, it's, it registers as like a larger pull down. If you guys know what I mean. So classic is um, I the thing I like about classic though is like point blank range. The aim assist goes crazy. Like in that real point blank, you're a foot away from the person. Aim assist just drags like a lot. So classic is definitely good for uh, anybody like new or just doesn't you don't play as often. Definitely, I would say Forte Classic will get you by. You'll you'll still hit some beams. Um, I would say though for your two to three X though, anything that's above your one X, you might want to raise your per optic setting just a little bit higher because having it on three will make your recoil a little bit harder. So the the higher your recoil, I mean the higher your sensitivity is, the easier recoil feels because you're you're getting a uh, more sensitive way to like like control your gun you know so like it, it just dramatically pulls down your gun more whatever if your sense is raised look dead zone none movement dead zone small um don't use dead zones unless you absolutely have to like if you have a lot of like you see my controller has no stick drift right and i'll put a little guide on how to have a controller with no stick drift okay so if you guys want to watch my my next video one of my videos i'm gonna drop soon on um the best controllers to have 
like you see bro this no stick drift stuff is fire you know we we lit out here i'm not gonna lie so i'll, I'll show a video how to have no stick drift for everything it's actually very simple um for like honestly any controller bro i know many different ways to reset them reset the dead zone so yeah i would say none or small definitely the way to go having a large uh, moving dead zone make you feel like you can't move around it make you feel very awkward and then inverted look off vibration off i don't like vibration this is also preference it's up to you if you guys want to use it and the video settings um i would definitely say i'm a more performance guy over the the way that the game looks so i would definitely have you guys put everything on low and off for sure uh this this setting is so odd i don't know why this setting like constantly appears back on okay this is not doing it now okay whatever but it was a season that was doing that but um yeah full screen for sure 16 by 9 16 by 10 whether you want to play stretch wise stretch, stretch threads or not so that's definitely be up to you field of view changes how your uh, recoil feels so the higher your field of view the less recoil you're going to feel uh the lower it is the more recoil you're going to feel so definitely remember that that's that's a that's a huge plus so i play on one ten, and i just like being able to see everything you know from those wide angles it helps a lot so um nvidia reflex if you have this option enable plus boost makes the, the game feel um much respond like much more responsive you know so i like to have mine either on enabled or enable plus boost and if you go to your video con control panel settings then you can go even further into it and have your reflex or low latency on ultra all right what definitely helps everything else like i said definitely you want to have it on none or off just because you want to increase that, those frames per seconds and not have any stutters and things like that and you can go a step further and in your steam settings you, um you right click go to properties and then in the little launch options you put plus fps underscore max and then space whatever refresh rate your monitor caps to so put it at like if you have 144 hertz put it at 144 240 240 and you can also put it at 144 if you plan on 240 hertz that's what i'm doing right now like i have on a 144 but i have a 240 hertz monitor just because um it feels like the, the lower frames makes your game feel a little bit quicker while the higher frames makes it feel like a little bit uh i'm what i, what I mean quicker i mean like more responsive definitely could be you know just me thing because I'm, I'm very very particular about certain things that the certain ways the game can feel at different times so yeah that's pretty much it man if you guys want to copy the audio settings feel free to do that i don't really use um my in-game or game chat audio but definitely all up to you so i appreciate you guys for watching this video man make sure you comment like subscribe for your boy um you know getting the settings out again i hope these settings help you guys out you guys get some some 4k some 20 palms going and good luck on this new season man i appreciate you guys watching this video and i will see you guys later